I'm not going to Washington if we prevail to be a bootlicker for Donald Trump or Joe Biden. That I've uh, been a bootlicker for either party is folly, and it's contradicted by the plain facts. Joe Biden is our president. He was chosen in the only election that matters, the election held by the Electoral College. Now, as to whether there were errors, as to whether uh, some states uh, might have conducted their elections better than others, there's always room for debate and questions about that. Some people express concerns. But for you to talk about the importance of the, le the Electoral College, I think, is rich. I think you, you know exactly how important it is. And I think you knew how important it was when you sought to urge the White House that had lost an election to find fake electors to overturn the will of the people. Senator Lee, that was the most egregious betrayal of our nation's constitution in its history by a U.S. senator, I believe, and it will be your legacy. You, it sir, is. owe me an apology. How do you characterize the events that happened on January 6th at the U.S. Capitol? And we'll start with Evan McMullen on this one. It was a violent insurrection with the intention of overturning the American Republic. You were there to stand up for our, converse, for our Constitution. But when the barbarians were at the gate, you were happy to let them in. Look, um, I, th there is absolutely nothing to the idea uh, that I would have ever supported, ever, ever did support the fake electors plot. Nothing. I'm pro-life, and I've always believed in the sanctity of life. And I oppose the extremes on both sides of this issue. As a pro-life American who loves the Constitution deeply, I'm thrilled with the Dobbs decision. Roe versus Wade was a legal fiction cut out of a whole cloth from the imagination of a few Supreme Court justices. I'm glad it's been overturned. And this authority has finally been returned to the states where it belongs. Look, you know who I am. You know what I fight for. I fight for religious freedom. I fight for personal liberty and did so during COVID. I fight and will continue to fight for criminal justice reform, and I'm leading the effort on bipartisan reform to make sure that we don't ever go to war without Congress approving it. Our politics are broken to the point that our country's future is now at risk. Most of us know that our country, it feels as though we're, we're coming apart now because of the broken politics you hear from my opponent. If we prevail in this race, it will make Utah the most influential state in the union because nothing will get through the Senate without Utah's support.